Hi. Mary, ho, ho, ho. Yep, it's June. Um, what am, I'm supposed to say hi to all you lovely creative people. I'm June from Oakland Witch Lane Designs, and with me is Martha from It's All in the Details. We're just, and I think I did this um, public live, so we're going to have to watch ourselves tonight for a couple of hours so we don't say anything that I have to put it as unlisted again. <laughs> Working on things that she's not going to show us. <laughs> And I'm just Sorry. finishing up. <laughs> I'm just finishing up uh, putting some finishing touches on this needle felted snowman that I was working on the other night. And we're just gonna hang and see who comes in. I see that Jean's here. Hi, Jean. Well, you still? could you could just put the camera right on you because I'm not doing nothing. But hi. Hi. Okay. Well, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go through all my. All my choices. Or maybe put me on a smaller, I don't know if it'll go. There we go. That. Yeah. What is that this? That good to me. That looks good to me. Oh, hey, Bo. Bo's here. Hold on. Can I just see this? I want to see what this next one looks like. Good. Oh, well, play with it, baby. Play with it. What's that one? Okay. That one's back to that. And then that one's all by yourself, right? No? No, wait. wait, wait. Here. Yep. Here we go. We're getting it together. There's Martha. Hey, Bo, that that um that that origami Christmas tree is fantastic that you made. I know you said you. I don't remember how many um pieces of paper you folded for origami. Three hundred and fifty, if I remember correctly. Three hundred and fifty. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of pieces of paper. That's a lot of patience. All right. Now, you know, I gotta, I'm got i going to look on YouTube and just see to make sure that I'm in screen. Um, that, oh. that origami Christmas oh. tree is oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Are you still Wait. going? Wait. I had a, I muted YouTube because I was, whoa, that was annoying. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing is I need to felted the snowman like I was talking about it. And then with some black polymer clay, a um, few people who work with polymer clay know that the first thing you have to do, this is Primo, by the way. I usually only use Primo polymer clay. You have to, oh, she said 450, Martha. Were you close to that? I said 350. Oh, 450. That's a lot of paper things. Yeah, you have to knead it a little bit, which is just squishing it, and then you put you it have in. To warm it up. Yeah, just to get it going, and then you roll it through your pasta machine. I have a pasta machine that's totally dedicated to polymer clay. Two. <laughs> <laughs> what? I got two. <laughs> yeah, I well, I um, I have one for polymer clay and one for pasta, so. Then you roll it out, and I'm just starting to make the buttons. Um, so you roll the flattened sheet out, and I think I, I have a straw here. Yeah. It's just um, a plastic yeah, straw. And once it's rolled out nice and flat, I mean, this is not flat now, but I, my pasta machine is not where I'm broadcasting, so I don't want to get up. But you just put a piece down and you use your little straw. And you wiggle the straw a little bit. And then your little button always ends up in the straw. So then you take some of the tool. This is just a stick, the end of a stick. And it goes down on your, your table. You flatten it out. And then you take one of these little pokey tools. This is a little pokey tool. And you just make two little holes in it for the buttonholes. And then what I like to do is I like to make it look more like a button. So I just run the pokey tool about, I don't even know, a sixteenth of an inch around the outside. Just to make it look more like a button. I don't know. If you guys can see this, because it's hard to see, but there is ridges. I don't have the best lighting. There is a little ridge around the buttonhole and then two little holes. Aw, they're so cute. So that'll go in the oven. 
and then I'm making little eyeballs. You know, yeah. I do polymer clay. I've watched a lot of polymer clay stuff, but I still don't understand how you can do one thing for 15 minutes, make another thing similar to it, and bake it for an hour and a half. What, what do you mean? It, the timing is that they're doing on the bakings, you know, like you, one thing I would make, I would bake for like 20 minutes. Right. And then I've seen things like that. They, they bake for an hour and a half. Well, I know that like when you do a face and you just want to harden it up for a little bit, but you don't want to fully, fully bake it. You can do that for 15 minutes and that just, it hardens it enough that when you put other clay on top of it, it doesn't smush it. Okay. Well, how, okay. So like you got your little head that you got in your head. How long would you normally bake that if you wanted it fully cooked? The, these, Baked. this right here, this would only be about 20 minutes. Okay. So now thick. what about a head? Her head. How do you ask? How I guess the question is, how do you estimate how long to bake your clay? Okay, it says it on the package. I think every quarter inch of get thickness um, is supposed to be twenty minutes or a half hour. I'll, let me get a package. I'll be right back. I got lots of packages and I've read them, but it don't really tell you like, well, if you got like twelve ounces of clay, it's going to take you two hours to cook. Well, it depends on how. <laughs> I don't know. It's how thick the clay is when you put it on. So with this Primo, it says glasses off. Does it? Oh, um, where does it say it? Ugh. Oh, it's 275, 30 minutes per a quarter of an inch. So for every quarter inch of thickness, you're supposed to bake it for 30 minutes. Okay. I must not have read mine right then. So that's why you can, like with a head, if I was making a head, um, and I got to a point where I needed to put more fresh clay on it, but I didn't want to smush anything that I did underneath it because I sort of liked what I did, I would put, um, I would bake it. For maybe 20 minutes. And then when I was totally done with the head, I would probably bake it for an hour. But I might put the oven on my 270 so it wouldn't burn. And then I'd tent it with foil, especially the flesh colors like the nose pieces and tips of ears can get um, burnt quicker. So if you tent it with foil or even put um, after it starts to bake and it gets a little hard, a piece of wet bounty over it uh that would prevent it from burning now what does clay look like when it's burnt it gets brown uh -huh. especially flesh colored it gets brown okay i think that's some good questions right there i wanted to ask somebody for a long time so like when i do a figure um let me see. Okay, hold on. Coming back again. Did it? I know. It's, just, it's hard when this is my little area for filming. And then, and I don't want to show her because she doesn't have clothes on. But when I do her now, and I'm adding because I have to add her feet to her because she's a full figure sculpt, which oh I God, don't I often do. I will put um, a wet bounty right before I put her in the oven. I put a wet bounty over uh, uh, over her face and make sure her ears are propped nicely because I don't want them to get broken. Right. But, you know, since her face is already baked, I don't want it to turn a different color than the rest of the clay. Not that it would matter much, but I don't, you know, like if it gets a little bit darker first, it gets a little bit darker. But then if you keep baking it and, and keep baking it and forget it once, it'll like the areas like here and the tips of her ears will start turning brown. So you don't want to do that. Right. Have you worked with that new, um, that new clay that it's kind of wiggles after it's even baked? 
Uh, that stuff is awesome. They would go good for your ears and your hands. And I have, I have, I have like a molding clay that you can almost make molds out of it that I put into my regular clay that I mix it with my regular Primo just to make it uh, more flexible. You can do that. Yeah, I mix it. I'll be right back. <laughs> One second. <laughs> anyway, uh, hi Jean, hi Oliver, hi Ohobek. Hi girls. I can't show I am making something special. You know me and my little secrets. Okay. I only see Jean and Bo. Is there anybody else here? Oh, hi, Christine. Hi. Yeah. Hold back here. For it to get. Uh, see this? This is, oh, it would help. If, it's a Sculpty Mold Maker. I take this and this, this you use to make molds with, but this is a very, very soft and flexible clay. So I mix a little bit of this. And you got to be careful on how much you mix. So I just do like a little bit at a time, depending on how much clay I'm mixing right. uh, into, because then it's going to get the clay that I'm working with far too soft. But this, when um, it mixes in with the clay, makes it more flexible. So like the ears don't break as quickly because I'm pretty hard on the things when I'm trying to dress them. I can't tell you how many times ears have come off you know, or fingers or something. Wait, Martha, where'd you go? Oh, I just what? took my camera off because I'm oh, having... Oh, you turned your camera off. That's all. Yeah. So it, this is Sculpty Mold Maker. And that's what I add. Two um, little pieces of it. It comes in like... I don't know why I opened the box like this. So I add, and I also, if I wanted to make little molds for things, I haven't tried it with resin to see if resin, oh yeah, I did try it with resin. You could even, when you make a mold with this, uh, I think you can even use resin in it, but I use the one that I, uh, you have to use the blue light, the black light, the whatever, the UV light. UV. UV light. So, okay, so my buttons are done. My little eyeballs, I think are done. Well, I'm glad your buns are done. <laughs> my buttons, my buttons. This is public. <laughs> there we go. So I'm not going to put them in the oven now, but they're done. And now I'm just going to start making his hat. So, oh, I got clay all over the place. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. Martha is making things, but she's not showing anyone what she's making. That's right. So I, I like my secrets. She has her secrets, and we are going to respect those secrets. What's anybody else doing tonight? Anybody else crafting? Okay, so here comes his little hat. I cut a piece of black felt, and I didn't do such a great job cutting a circle. Where the scissors go? I know I have a pair of scissors here somewhere. Oh, my God. I got three pairs of scissors on the table, craft knife, and haven't poked myself yet, so I'm good. Yeah. Well, have you, have you looked at that? Well, you can't see half of the mess that I got going on over here. I uh, the whole work I got going on over here. Oh my god, my room is just horrible. Oh, did I tell you? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep it clean because this is public, and I do have somebody who is my friend's son, who is like seventeen or eighteen years old. So. Oh my goodness, he's seventeen or eighteen. Hmm. Oh, both taking a break from folding paper. Well, I bet. That's a lot of paper to fold. Well, How many more are you going to make, Bo? Oh, yay. It fits. 
ready to go. Yeah. Okay, so I cut my my um, piece of regular felt into a circle, and I'm just going because I'm gonna, he's going to have a little black hat. And I'm just going to try to get it so it stays on there on the top of his head. Let's see if we can do that. What needle am I using? Okay. Uh, for those of you who would ask me what needle I would be using, this is the 36. This is the uh, really the thick needle. I don't think felt in the store is really wool anymore. You know that, Martha? Do you think mm. it's wool? I just think it's a synthetic fabric. Yeah. It's got such a shine. I don't, I don't like wool anyway. It's itchy. When you're wearing it. Oh, but you're talking about your, your stitching wool there. Yeah. This, oh. is felt. this is felt from the store, and I just think because it's so shiny... Um, that it's not to, I don't think it's real, real wool. Just taking a piece of black. Okay. So now I'm sorry, Bo is making a snowflake. If she gets the paper done, I mean, no, not yeah, Bo. And then Christine is asking, is it too late to make Christmas cards? I said, no, never too late. Oh, it's never too late. Oh, you answered. Okay. You're faster. Which side are you looking at it on the, oh, you. YouTube. Oh, okay. It takes streaming yard a little bit of time, but if I go over on YouTube, I, I start getting an echo. Hold on. Okay. No. Are you done with your Christmas cards, Martha? Who knows? I made three the other night on um, I know Mickey show. <laughs> you were <laughs> you were the only one who accomplished any of them. Well, Mickey finally got her card done. Yeah. Let's get this over here. Finally. <coughs> okay. So I think it is, is it public or is it unlisted now? I'm not sure. I think I made it public. I don't know what it says on YouTube. Hold on. It still says unlisted on YouTube. You're unlisted? Well, I put it unlisted at first and then I said, ah, what the heck? I'm not, you know, we're going to behave. I'm not going to say anything that I don't want to be said. I'm going to be a very good girl. And then I decided to make it public, but I guess YouTube didn't get that memo yet. Ah, huh. okay. I think I got you. Okay. My piece that I inserted has to be glued down now. Oh, okay. I really don't need to be, but it will be. So I think I will just use tape. Make sure I got the right side. All right. Oh, you came in by, via YouTube? So, um, Bo, was it, the show was being listed? Or did you just follow the link that I put in Crazy Crafters? Because if you get, if you're subscribed, you get a ding. 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 <laughs> Here we go. Because I know Debbie Wagner isn't in Crazy Crafters. Oh, hi, Shirley. It is public. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Shirley's in. All right. How long you plan on being on? Because I could stop. I don't want to stop this project, though. Oh, man. I'm going to stay on till about 9 o'clock because then I have to go. So that's about an hour and a half. I can make about two cards in that time, maybe. Oh, so you're going to make cards? Then well, I'm, I'm thinking I could stop this project. and. Well. Oh, uh, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. 
my favorite day of the week. Is it why? Thirsty Tuesday. Thank you, Mom. What does that mean? Dollar Beer Tuesday. Oh, okay. Sorry. Wednesday, I have... What do I got to do Wednesday? Thursday, I've got things to do. Yeah, I'm hoping that I'm not too swollen from this whole rigmarole. Yeah. So what exactly? They're doing a what? They're pulling out my wisdom tooth and the top tooth that cracked. Yeah, you'll be all right. I'm getting two. So the wisdom tooth I'm concerned about. Tell them you want a sucker when you're all done. Get what? Tell them you want a sucker when you're all done. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be, yeah, I just want to go home and get and rest. Can't have coffee because I'm going under, so I can't have coffee. That's not going to be very good. I hate that. Okay, that is taped down. Okay, so I think... Made a little hat. This is regular felt that you cut in a circle, and this is needle felting. Got a little hat on. Oh, poop. If you haven't, oh, I gotta make the nose. Tell me when you're switching over, if you're gonna switch over to cards. Okay, I'll tell you when I'm ready. Okay, I got to make the nose. I forgot I have to make the nose. Okay, that'll be fun to watch. Hold on. Here we go again. See, that's After what all it is your show. <laughs> <laughs> you should be on. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to bring everything I need over because, Hi, you know. Vic. Oh, Vic is, Vic is here? Yeah, hi, Vic. I don't get, i looking at. You don't pop out your you don't pop out your YouTube and put it on your StreamYard. Thing? Oh, I don't know how to do that. Uh, what? I don't know how to do that. Okay. I don't see that. Where's oh there oh, she is? I, I keep forgetting to put it on live chat too. Live chat. Okay, here we go. Now where it says go over to three dots to the very right of it. Yeah. That, and it should say pop out chat. Okay. Pop out chat. Drag okay. it over to the right side of your screen and then. How do you drag it over? You go to the very top. Like if, if you got like purple for your background setting. Uh -huh. grab the purple ah, on the very okay. Top. I got it. Now let me see. No, see if I go to. Oh, gosh. See, I'm I'm staying on StreamYard. Well, yeah, but you can pop out your your YouTube chat and watch live chat. But when I try to do that, it it didn't. Okay, we'll try it one more time. Go down to the very bottom where you got your little Google icon down there. Yeah. Hover over it with your mouse, and it'll show two screens. One will be your YouTube. One will be your StreamYard. Just click on to the YouTube chat, and you should be back where you're at. Okay. Hold that. Put that there. Oh, I see that. Okay. See, I have a little, I have a little thingy. <laughs> I know. Okay. A little um, screen. It's not big at all. It's probably the size. Okay. What am I doing? No, I'm not doing anything right now. Okay. Now, can't you just stay there? I see. Hold on. Now, where do you go? Oh, okay. Look at that. Now, I can't see you, Martha. So, you can't wait. Move you. Can you move over? Oh, look at that. 
Okay, I'm missing half the words, but we'll just figure it out as it goes. Because, like I said, my screen isn't that big. Well, you can down. You can you can put your little arrow on it, and it'll bring your screen a little thought um, smaller. And smaller. Uh, oh, I can make my talk chat as wide as the whole screen. But I move it over and I fit it to the right side of the YouTube or the stream yard. Yeah, I have it in the right right now. Because there's not enough room on the left. Okay, it's just I'll, I'll be missing a few words to the right because I don't know how to make it smaller. Wait, can I grab make your left, grab the left side of the chat box itself and okay. bring that over. You might have your whole thing over too far. You might want to bring it back over. Wait a minute. Let's go the other way. Oh, I see. She, and then let's see. Oh, I see. Zoom. Okay. I'll make it smaller. There we go. And then I'm going to... Oh, 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 don't get crazy here. Sometimes you got to play with your computer. Oh, goodness. No, don't end. Hold on. <laughs> I lost it. Uh oh. Come back, you. Oh, there we go. Got it. And now I'm just gonna move. Okay, I'm gonna move. You lost a long time ago, right? Okay, I got it. Oh, I got lots of chat on there now. Holy moly! Yeah, just play with it, and you get it the way you want it. Um, I think I want to make it just a tad. Oh, goodness gracious! There we go. That's much better. This stuff. Okay. I got it. 50%. Here we go. Look at that. Now I got my chat. Now she knows how to work it. Okay. What was I doing? What was I doing? I was making the carrot for the nose. You were making a something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm busy. Oh. <laughs> I figure out what I'm gonna make here. Um, I would say welcome to live chat. Of course, I should be welcome. I'm goodness gracious! Why is it welcoming me to live chat? Oh. My YouTube always welcomes me if I change it. Now, do you have it on live chat? I have it on live chat. Mm -hmm. I have it on the right hand side. You're we're on the left. We're all good now. Look at that. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. There's Martha. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, okay. We're going to try to make a card. One I wanted to make for a while, and I guess tonight could be a night. Um,. It's gonna start okay. with let me put my scissors back up, bring my light back over. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah. we're together now. You doing you ready? Yeah. There we go. Woohoo. Okay. I have some ecru colored clay. And we're going to see if this works because I haven't done this for a while. I'm going to make a carrot. Oops, let's try to get in screen. A carrot for the nose. I wish I had smaller pins. Well, we'll fix that later. I'll just cut it. Okay, so here's a little, here's another little tip. If you're using polymer clay, and needle felting and you want like especially with this with the snowman i want to get his nose but i don't want to just glue it like that when i when the clay gets hard so what i do is i take a pin a straight pin just a regular straight pin hey crystal how you doing crystal castles here hey crystal castle hi castle Oh, where'd my chat go? I lost my chat. I walked away for two minutes and it went away. Yeah. 
Well, when you click on something, it'll go up, disappear. Yeah. You have to bring it back up. Okay, so <laughs> pin, you take a pin. Because when I'm trying to get this, I always like to make sure that it's sturdy and not just held by glue. So the pin will go through the needle felting. And that, that makes it more sturdier so it stays on. And then you have to get, the only thing is you have to get the needle on the polymer clay. So I take the head of the needle and I just push it in the back of the And I can take it, I think I can take it back out because what I'm going to do, I think I like this size nose. It's a cute size nose. So Are you gonna paint it orange? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna use um I have Why not use orange clay where you don't uh, have colors. I have some colors, but I like I've always liked painting the clay i think it, it if you use ecru it's such a pretty base and i'm not in screen it it's a pretty base it's a, like a creamy beige color and i like using that because then i can use different washes and paint over it okay hi debbie wagner oh, debbie, you're here hi debbie hey, ho, 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 ladies so yeah. if you take a little of the super glue and this is the one i use it's the gel and you have to shake the gel up quite a bit to make sure that it gets jelly if it comes out okay and now let's hope i don't glue my fingers to it if you take soup this kind of glue and put it with polymer clay it holds it really well, even if it's raw. Sorry, even if it's raw. And then for some, I don't know what kind of a chemical reaction, but it sort of makes the clay that touches the glue hard. And I need something to clean off. And it'll end. I have not, I haven't used a lot of this. But then, again, I'm just saying I don't have young children or pets in the house, but you can put this in the oven. I can't smell a difference, like the glue or anything burning, but with a 275-degree oven, you, it's a very, you know, it's not a very hot, hot, hot oven. And you should and always, always, always have an oven temperature thermometer in there when you're baking also. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else do I need? I need a bag. I'm just making ridges so it'll look more like a carrot when it finishes baking. And now just to show you, this is pretty well on there. See, it, this part will bend, but this part that the needle is in won't bend anymore. It sort of hardened the clay a little bit where the um, super glue touched it. Now this is getting dirty. The clay is getting dirty, of course, because I'm touching it with, yeah, let's try to get something to get some of this off. Now, if your clay gets dirty when you're using it, especially your light colored clays, the best thing to do, because I didn't, this isn't something like um, I'm making a face. This is just the nose is you bake it and then after you finish baking it, I know a lot of people before they bake it, rub it with alcohol to try to smooth it and everything else like that. I was, I had seen on one of the uh, DVDs that I had gotten on a person who made a face is you take a little acetone, pure acetone, which we know is nail polish remover, put a little on a paper towel and rub it on the clay and that will take all surface dirt off the clay. It'll also take a little bit of detail off, but not much. And then once I paint this or put the alcohol ink, no one's going to notice if there's a little bit of a dirt on this carrot nose. 
And where can I show it to you? Right there. Okay, so now his nose, his buttons, and his eyeballs are done. But I didn't bake it yet. I'm just going to put it on the side. And this is just a ceramic tile that you could use. Uh, you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of your home centers, and you just buy an individual tile. They used to sell them like that. This is my smaller one. I do have a larger one, and I just use this to bake the clay. Now, any part of the clay that touches the baking surface gets shiny. So what I made you for this is just take some so that one part of the nose doesn't get shiny, although the acetone will take that off. You just make a um, piece of clay, take another piece of clay, put it down on your baking surface and put the needle in it and that'll hold it straight up. So the only thing that's happening is you're gonna be baking this piece and you don't need it, but it's gonna hold the carrot up so there's no shiny part for touching the surface. So those are a few tips. Whew, that was exhausting. Okay. So now what's left to do is I think I'm going to put a scarf on him. I have his arms. Um, I was showing that on the show. I used, uh, twisted two pieces of wire together, and then I used a mold maker, which is, what's that fabric? Uh, latex. And I'll show them in a second. So how many cards do you have done now, Martha? Because I know you've been working, you've been making cards like crazy. I've been in a heck of a paper mood, haven't I? Yeah. Are you getting motivated to go back to the Santa house or not really? Um, you know, Polly called today and I told her, I said, well, I wanted to start the Santa house here in December, but... Then I got in a paper mood, and it's like, well, maybe February I can get to the Santa's house. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> I do want to start working on it again. I do, I do, I do. Well, what's left? It's been so long, I don't remember. Well, I wanted to get into the polymer clay and make stuff for in the kitchen and stuff like that. And still got things to make. Got to finish and do the fireplace. Um, yeah, there's little odds and ends that's got to be done in there yet. And I think I really want to make like... Um, I did the stove and the refrigerator out of paper. I think I want to make that out of wood, too. The stove and refrigerator out of paper? No, out of wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jean is asking how your dad and your friend is. How is Polly? Polly, her voice is getting cra crackly. And she absolutely asked no questions whatsoever to her doctor not one question did she ever ask about any of this she don't know she don't know she don't know she don't know was that because she's scared no it's because polly that's how polly is she just don't ask questions about nothing she just takes whatever you say and okay fine i said polly you gotta loosen up and ask some questions man because she don't know if she's gonna like herbs cancer was up here but hers is like right here okay that's where your thyroid is it's hard is to do this left-handed now you know <laughs> 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 right there and uh i mean herb blast is a sense of smell a sense of taste there's some things that around your throat, man. Don't be, don't be. 
messing with it. We're going to keep it nice. I wanted to just slap her through the phone. I really did. Yeah. But I think, yeah, she's a little on the scare side. And she starts her chemo next Monday. And I says, well, I'm going to get a port. Oh, what's that? She absolutely knows nothing about anything of it. So, yeah. And Dad, I know last I talked to him, he was in getting a couple pints of blood. But he's also going back to the rehab now. So between the rehab and the hospital to get the blood, he's having to take an ambulance. An ambulance or a little ambulette? Well, I don't know. I think down there they got ambulance. Oh, okay. Because whenever they had to take my father, he's in a nursing home, right? Your dad right now, or a rehab place or something? Yeah, it's a rehab to help him walk better with his walker. And I thought they were going to get him up and get him motivated, but I don't sound like that's happening. No. Um, and something about like a speech therapy. So, because he, he just once in a while, like a brush, he can't find that word. Right. And I asked my cousin, I said, Do you think he's in early stage adult? Um, dementia and he says no and it's like you know he, that's the only thing he has a problem with is just finding his words so whatever that may be yeah but other than that when i talked to him he sounded like drained he yeah sounded a little drained and just weak and Yeah. So prayers to both would be great. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi, Barbara Higgins. Hey, Barbara. Oh, Just woke what? up. Not a good day. Uh-oh. What happened? What happened, Barbara? You want to come in, Barbara, and talk to us? You can come in and talk to us and tell us. You don't have to go on screen. Why wasn't it a good day today? I hope your crazy sister didn't do anything else. Okay. I'll make sure this thing fits this card in it. Look. I'll be darn. I cut it perfect. Because this card is not a exactly 5 by 7 It's a 5 by 7 point eight. Okay. No problem, Barbara. But you are welcome to come in. What happened now? Why Thank was it a bad you, day? Oh, pain? Pain. Uh, Oops, let me back up some. There we go. In your back or your legs? You didn't fall again, did you, sweetie? I'm going to take... That's all. Yeah, I think we... Let's take an inch and a half. Um, yeah. See if I can. Can I do that? Five. Oh no, I can't do that now. Ugh. Inch and a half. Oh, so, I'm just using a seam ripper. You know this. You could just take the ends of the ribbon and fray them a little bit so it looks more like a scarf. Thank you. Do we like his hat? That's a cute hat, right? A little off. Old body from being out last night in the cold. Whoops. Can't read it. We've got to move it. Girls, to oh, you went to AC Moore's. Oh, so you were out. Yeah. 
do paying for it oh boy did you get some good stuff while you were there though barbara okay let's see what we got here i really like this one and of course it's not long enough <sighs> Poop. I like the little stitches on them. Why, why they need to make these longer? So, I guess I cut my own. Yeah, cold weather makes everything ache a little bit more. It really does. Cold weather makes me stay in the house better. Well, you get snow all the time. I can't stand snow. I know a lot of people like it, but I well, I got ugh, I don't like driving in it. I don't like shoveling it. It's very pretty. If it would just come down and not like coat the roadways, I'm fine with it. If it just goes on the lawn and the trees, but the minute it starts accumulating on the roads, can't stand it. It just makes an added worry when you have kids that you know that are driving even though my kids have been driving for a little while now or even myself although i don't drive far to get to work it's not even i don't even know if it's a mile so what'd you get at ac more barbara tell us we're living vicariously through you yeah right i asked her she said yes and it's like well we wanted more than just a yes barbara <laughs> <laughs> We wanna, uh, what we did wanna, you get? You know that. Let's things keep falling. Okay. Well, let's put it this way, Barbara. They had stuff left, huh? They had stuff left. Obviously, because she bought stuff. Well, that's perfect. Okay, now let's make another one. Let's see. Oh, cover my crate. My super glue. Okay, what do we got going here now? I've got that. so many things all over the place. All right. Oh, I think, am I done with the needle felt thing? Yeah. Well, maybe not. Has anybody started needle felting? It's really fun. Even if you don't make anything, it's fun. Just to stab it. Yep. 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 Keenan's a little something. I'd probably be poking my finger out way too much. Yeah. It's... Okay. I think well, I'm I do done. That even, I do that even when I'm cross stitching. What's falling now? Gosh, everything is falling over here. Okay. Just organizing, guys. We're switching what we're doing. <laughs> she doesn't know what you're doing. When you when you do when you make these things, people don't understand. You gotta switch from needle felting to polymer clay to whatever else you're doing. It's a lot of switching back and forth. You want to tell me I'm I, I put my surprise away just to make something for to help Your you surprise. out. <laughs> Your surprise is on the somewhere on the side. I got bits of clay all over. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Do I want to make a little patch for him. Yeah, because then I have to take out my big shot. And that I'm not going to take out tonight. I don't know if I want to make a little patch for him on his little butt. We'll see. So we'll leave this yeah, out. A little butt patch. A little butt patch? Yeah. All right. We want a little butt patch? Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Got to make a little butt patch.
Okay, so now the ribbon can go away when I ever get to where I have to put the ribbon back. Okay, this is clay that's got to go back. This is fuzz that can get thrown out. You should see my floor in here. There's so much stuff. Oh, I haven't even swept or vacuumed in here. Yeah, I got it. I'm too busy. Can't craft and do housework at the same time. You nope. just can't do it. Nope. And I'm crafting. Okay. Oh, Barbara got a lot of color. Oh, look at this. Wait, I got to move my chat. Hold on. Barbara, I got a lot of pearls, beads, glitter, lace, and wooden trays, chipboard pieces, corner punch, and got Billy some. Wow. Look at that. She got a haul. Good for you. Power cords, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Debbie, by the time I switched over, I didn't get up till 1 o'clock because I went to bed at 5 o'clock in the morning again. Um, after I got my game done and all that kind of stuff, I went over to YouTube and it was like, oh, I just must have missed her. <laughs> and I watched a little bit of it and got busy doing other things. <laughs> Christine is trying to find her bone folder in the dust. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't know if I like this patch. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll do a 3D snowman too. Right. Oh, med check. Med check. I was just looking at that. I'm going to wait maybe another hour. Okay, surely another hour. I don't know if okay, I like gonna make him. We got to cut him out. Okay. I should get this card made in another hour. Oh, we got it. It's 804. Yeah, you got time. You were whipping cards out right, left, and center before. Okay, I'm just going over to the other table, so keep them occupied. Fine, fine, fine. All right. So we are going to move this stuff where, yeah, good question, over there. We need to print him out. Oh, and we're going to use some of these. And this is from what? Mama Elephant. <laughs> I think they're so darn cute. So we're going to print him. We're going to print the tree. We're going to... Um, yeah, more than one. So, you know, we can just print both of these. Oh, another little helpful hint on polymer clay. If you're starting to use polymer clay, always keep your scraps. Don't throw them out. If there's, you know, little bits, just put them all together. Because if you're making something that you have to put a base clay on before you put your top coat on, you can always use your um, old polymer clay, mix it up, and use that as the base clay. Yeah, as the filler. The filler. Yeah. Don't throw it out. Okay, so we got, oh, wait a minute, hold on. I got to move that over. Hold on, ladies, We're moving. Barbara keeps uh, 
Christine, I'm sorry, not Barbara. Christine keeps buying, but no organizing and or crafting just starts <laughs> everywhere. And Barbara, uh, I got a picture frames. All that she's fixing up for two of her friends I used to work with. Oh, you're going to post pictures? Wonderful, Barbara. Are you going to do a YouTube video like you did with your um, those books you were making? What do you call Scrapbooks you were making? That was fun. I love watching that one. Okay, move chat over there. And now that I know how to move chat all around, that you can't see it on my computer, but I'm just moving chat here, there, and all over the place. I tried to reduce it, but then I was getting like a thousand chats all on one side, so I just have to keep it like that. Okay, so here are the arms. This is the wire that I used that I twisted, and then I put the latex over it so that you don't see the wires. You can still see the wires right now because the latex dries either clear or yellowish, but once I put some paint over it, you won't be able to see the wire through there. And then these now become bendable because with the latex on top of it, it bends. If I try to make little sticks out of polymer clay that that size, I could do it, but they would definitely break. There is no way, there's nothing I can do with straight polymer clay that would not make these break. And then you can bend it if you want to fix it a little bit. Like that hand is a little too big, so I got to cut him down so it's equal. Oh, the smell of the stays on is so good. The what? The smell of stays on ink. Is it? it? It smells so good. Do I? I got to go smell mine. I think I have a stays on. <laughs> Here we go with sniffling. Smell. <laughs> Hold on, I I have a stays on. I'll be with, but it's over there again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Ah, and it's all over my hand now. See. Brilliance. Does brilliance smell nice? And distressed ink from Jim uh from Timmy. I don't I know. Said. No, that doesn't smell like anything. Now I'm sniffing ink pads. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you seriously just for the fun of it? Yeah, I just I just wanted to smell it. You said stays on smells nice. Oh, it does. It's got well, like you keep saying that. Fruity smell to Bril it. Brilliance doesn't smell. I don't have a stays on. Oh, you're bumming. Because it does. It smells good. It smells good. Well, okay. Now I know I have to go get stays on so I can smell it. Right. Okay. Let's get acrylic paint so we can paint the arms. Am I getting burnt umber? Well, that's a good one. Okay. You see, I'm telling you all the things you have to get just to make one item. All right, so now we're just going to paint the little arms. I do have some other trees, though, don't I? I'm using burnt sienna. Okay, now for my big thick rubber stamp, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to flip it around, and I'll be ready for my big stamp. Oh, okay, wait. Barbara, I'm going to, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Got to move it over. Wow, lost everybody. <laughs> uh, You'll get the hang of it. 
Okay, that. Now I got to go get that. Oh, wait, where am I? Oh, come Crystal on. Chat. Okay, now I got to pop out chat again because it unpopped itself. I think I need to clean something. Pop out chat. Move that to the right. That, whoa, come on. Don't do that to me. Little bugger. Yes, I, I gotta clean my stuff because my stuff is not sticking. Oh, but the hat come out good, so we'll move the hat. Okay, now I gotta move that over. One more time. Get his belly. I forgot how to get it back on this YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, now it's gone there. All right. So come over here. Where am I? Where am I? There we go. We got good impression. Over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not close all windows. Ah, there we go. Oof. All right. Okay. But I'm going to Barely. have to oh, move this over again. But I'm going to get her to help me do a little video of my craft room probably sometime next week. Oh, that's going to be fun, Barbara. Essie's one that helps me, and she wants to be here before I have to take them to them. Okay, so she's going to help you a little bit with that. Okay, good. I was on to painting. Now that, what did I do? Okay. I'm using a little more umber, a little burnt sienna. And what is this? Raw sienna. Combined all of those. Let's see what color will come up with on my arms. And you can paint the latex pretty easily. I can take it out of this now. It just might take a couple of coats, but you could take paint it. And if you don't like how they came out, you can always do it again. It's not that big of a deal. You didn't invest that much into this. Just a piece of wire and some latex that you put it on. So if I don't like how one of these twigs came out, I could just redo it. The latex takes a little bit of time to dry, but that's okay. I try to, if I get up early enough and I'm organized, I'll do a little of it before work so that they could dry while I'm in work. I've never used the heat gun on it, so I don't think, I'm not sure it's a great idea to use the heat gun on the, on the latex, so you just let it dry naturally. Christine is still trying to find her, her desk. Okay. So you're going to stamp all of those and then fussy cut them out? No, I got um, die cuts to cut them out with. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'm going to make it kind of quick and easy card, which I've never made one of these before. I know you're going to be done, and I'm still going to be painting these stupid stems. Not if I keep thinking what I'm doing next. Orange. That's what I want. 
I don't have no carpet copy. I don't have any kind of good markers. The Copic things? Yeah. I got colored yeah, pencils and these these things I got here. So what do you got? And I don't even have a red. So I gotta get a red Sharpie. Gel pens. Oh, okay. Oh wow, look at you. You got a lot of stuff but there. There's really no red. Um wait. Oh ho 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 ho. Okay, we got pearl. Oh, goodness gracious, I did it again. Really stop. Come over here. Uh oh, I lost everybody now. Hey. What do you keep how come you keep losing people? I don't know, Martha. This is this is all. I lost it. I lost the YouTube chat again. I'm just gonna finish painting these little hands. I lost my little red one. That red. Is that your normal desk, Christine, or is that just your sub desk while you have so many things going on? I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to move you over there. And then put it on stream yard and see if we can get it to come up. Oh, come on. There we go. I got it now again. All right, so I think I'm up to. I did everything I can do on this thing, but I don't. I don't want to bring out the big shot to cut the holly leaves. Let's see. Foam core and footstool desk. All righty. All right. Let me get. We're working on. I don't have any green paper that's green on both sides. Oh, maybe I have little leaves. All right. Be right back again. Oh, yes. I don't have to cut them. I'm just going to use these. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Okay. So I'm going to use... These are plastic. I usually make my holly leaves out of paper, but I think I'm just going to use these right now. I'll put that on his hat. You know, they really, I don't like the texture of them though. They really don't look like holly leaves. All right, so I'm going to have to cut out holly leaves. Can I use anything that's in here? Yeah, I can try to use that. Sandra Miranda's here, Martha. Whoa, hello, Sandra Miranda. How are you? Merry ho, ho, ho. And jingle bells and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, a gold pen. Oh, I got a gold pen. I need a little scissor than this. I'm going to cut my fingers off. Okay. 
All right. This is not the pen I wanted to buy when I bought it. I wanted my fine point one. But my um it used to be that Michaels used to sell all the pens by themselves and you, they don't have it in there anymore. They don't? Uh uh. Unless I'm in the wrong oh, you know what? I probably should have went to the art supply part. Yeah, if they have any pens that were, you know, they're probably in the art supply now. Yeah. Well, I went to my Michaels, or one of, I have two by me. I went to one of them, and they were so busy, they're done with Christmas. They're just like, everything is taken down and put on the side. Oh, starting to sell. Yeah, I got Definitely. some fake garlands. Does that look like a holly leaf? Yes, it does. Um, Martha, what stamp die set are you using? Uh, the Little Deers is, um, what was that, Lawn Fawn? No, Mama Elephant and the Snowman is stamping up. Barbara, Martha is making more cards. Because I'm not going to show you my secret prize I'm working on. Or not prize, present. Right. And I, I was sworn to secrecy. Yes, you were. And I'm not going to be able to talk tomorrow anyway. So, oh, what am I doing with the branches? I'm putting them as the snowman's arms. They're going to go. Is it dry? I'm going to go like this as his little arms and my snowman. Oops. All right. That's all I can. Oh, I can use the brown. I'm just making holly leaves for his hat. You're welcome, Sandra. And find my little black one. Which is somewhere. What red, what red was nice? What red was that? Was that your Sharpie red? No. I got a Sharpie red right here. No, is that the red you used on the hat? The Sharpie red? Yeah. Thank you, Sandra. It came out nice. It didn't come out straight. It doesn't look streaky from here. You did it nice with that Sharpie thing. I can never get Sharpies to not look streaky. I go at 9.15 tomorrow, New York time. Now, of course, New York time. Why would I tell you? No, 9.15. No, no, no. Do you think she's a little on the nervous side? Nah, it's nah. Um, those wings are for an angel, Sandra. I'm going to work on next because after the holly and putting the arms in, I have to wait. I have to put some polymer clay in the oven here. Hold on. See, I made some buttons out of polymer clay right here. You can't really see them, like, but there is little holes there. And that's his two little eyeballs. And this thing right here is going to be his carrot nose. But once it's baked, I'm going to um, use some alcohol inks to make it orange. The wings off of this angel if I ever get it completed, but I, ah, hold on. Okay. Uh, I'm, I was just having a little bit of a difficulty deciding if I like them with or without the, I put a little pink on the tip. I don't know if you can tell the difference and maybe I should try to stay in camera in frame. I put a little pink on the tops of this just to make it like, differentiate between each layer and I'm trying to see if I like it. I'm thinking I'm liking it a little bit more now. I didn't like it yesterday, but I'm liking it more today. See everything I do, I always have to wait a day um, to see if it grows on me. 
I will have, um, I will add one thing to the list for my, my son's got to, uh, I will have my son write something in the creative crafters group. He's already has a list of people really he's got to text. <laughs> it's like a, do I really have to text all these people, Mom? I'm like, yes, Eddie, do. Okay, where was I? I was making holly. Okay. Is this too big? Ah, big holly is okay. Yep, that's fine. I love playing with polymer clay. You can make a polymer clay snowman, too. I mean, all you have to do is wrap up different size um, tin foil balls and then cover it with white clay. I just needle felted it because I, I like how the needle felting te I've, texture is. I've made them out of polymer clay. There's one hanging up on, I've made them on styrofoam balls. No, my daughter made the one in polymer clay. I helped her make that, and I made one out of styrofoam balls. But I like the needle felting. I don't know. It just looks softer, like snow. Hey, Telly. Telly's here. Hi, Telly. Come in, Telly, if you want. Wow, that's a big holly leaf. Hold on. I'll try to get it smaller without cutting my fingers off. Barbara's making a card. Barbara. Martha. I don't even know who I'm with. Martha. Oh, yeah. Hello. Martha. <laughs> can't even do it. Martha's over there. Oh, I need. Oh, she, you're laying on the bed waiting for the washer to stop? Oi. I'm going to make him Rudolph. I'm only staying on for another half an hour, girls, because I have to get myself ready. Well, I thought I could get this card done in an hour, but I don't think so. Oh, come on, Martha. You have 31 minutes left. I have faith in yeah, you. Yeah, color on, color on. All right, all right, all right. Color on, color. Rain, storms, and cold there? Oh. Do we get your weather after a while, or do we get Martha? Which weather do I get, Martha? Telly's in Texas or yours? Um, Pretty much mine, probably. Okay. Because Telly's, Texas, they go up to the mid-south, and then they die off. Oh, good. Once in a while, they will hit us, though. So Telly's sometimes will hit us. Okay. Okay. All right, so I think I got, yep, okay. So now, fabric tech. Or do I want to put a little rim on it first? A little red rim. Do I have red, do I have red embroidery, do I have red embroidery floss? Yes, but you forgot where you put it. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'm going to go, wait, did I just throw out my other? <laughs> Gotta go. I just was going to throw out my other holly leaf. There I go. See? All these little things. All right. Where, where is my red embroidery for us? No, I don't have any. Oh, I have this. I knew I had something in red. I found something to go around his little hat. This. That'll look pretty. 
very festive. What? 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 Oh, ribbon. What? Yeah, ribbon. 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 Oh, I've lost my chat. There we go. Too much stuff around my mouse. Yeah, Barbara, I hope he gives you good stuff. Barbara's going to the doctor tomorrow. We're going to the, well, Barbara, you're not on the same time zone as I am, right? I never um, know where anybody, what time zone anybody's on. Well, your like 9.40 might be my I'm um, ahead, right? Might be my 1040. Because I think you're an hour. Oh, I surely got three to four inches of snow Sunday. Ugh. We had a little bit of snow yesterday, but it didn't accumulate. We had just a dusting from the midnight, but yeah, I'm out of tea. Okay, so Telly's hip and knee are really giving our problems. Do you go to a chiropractor? Who? Telly. Because she's saying her hip and knee, because when I have problems with my back, the chiropractor helps. He says it stems from my own chiropractor. You what? And it really does help. I love the chiropractor. I know I've said this tip before, but another little tip with Fabri-Tac is wait for it to get sticky. Don't put, get sticky. Just wait a little bit. Put it on. Let it sit for a few minutes. Uh-huh. It works better. Oh, it's 832 there. Oh, no, so we're on the same time zone, Barbara. Okay. Yeah, Eastern All right, so time. I can't tell. I, I so we'll be on the so we'll be in the doctor at the same time. Good. Is there a front and back to this? No, it's the same. This is a gift for somebody, or for a lady I work with, so it, it can't be for a giveaway. Sorry. This is like giveaway something when I have a live, you know, when I have a show, but not today, guys. I'm sorry, because I'm a little bit behind. This has got to get done by Friday. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. What color is that? Oh, really Thank dark brown. Oh, the pencil sharpener. I now I'm going to put the seam of where I cut the two ribbons right where I'm going to put the highly leaves so it sort of hides it. Usually you put the seam in the back, but because I'm going to be putting holly ribbons on here and it'll hide it, I'll put the seam under the holly ribbons. I mean, under the holly. Oi. Under the holly, not the ribbon. That's my china. Holly ribbons is my china. I hope Nikki's okay. I read. I, I hope she's not in the bathroom with the doggies because of the tornadoes. Oh what? Yeah, she was yeah, worried about damn tornadoes. Bo, am I putting you to sleep? I'm sorry. Wake up. You want to start singing again? That'll wake up everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm putting Bo to sleep. I thought you were folding papers. She took a break for a minute. Oh, someone texted me. Well, guess what? That's upstairs. I'm not running upstairs. It wasn't my son, so I don't have to worry. I 
There we go. Holly's a little big, but you know what? Holly can be. Oh, that's a two texter. Oh, a three texter. Oh my gosh. They're writing me a story. Okay. All right, now we're gonna put his little armies in. Let's see. Oh, little armies, huh? Yeah. What do I need? I need. Okay, I need a felting needle for this. I need my straw. Okay. It's right there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm only playing, Bo. I know. I know you must be exhausted. So I'm making a little hole in the side so that the wire would fit. Because I left a little, oh, again, a little tip of this stem. Hope you can see this because on my screen it's so small. Was that the fourth text? Gosh, that's going to be like, that's. Okay, hold on. Do it the other hand. So are, you, are you thinking of um, paying that stream yard thing? And now the arm goes right in. Martha, are you thinking of paying that, that stream yard thing or no? I'm thinking about trying a month. Oh, you could do that? But I paying for it's just a bunch of, it's just bull crap. Yeah. Well, he doesn't, you know, YouTube gets their money by advertisers, and this guy doesn't get any money, right? He, he doesn't get money for letting us have this service, does he? I don't know. Nobody should get any money from the service. Nobody. That's what I'm saying. I think it should be free to everybody. Heck with paying. Okay, on uh, the other, now let's make sure that we put his arms in the right spot. And the people who made the snowman were an outside getting. Okay. All righty. Did I do that pretty good? Yeah, it looks okay. All right. Got to do it with my right hand. Okay. And hold on. There it is. Okay. You know, when you don't put these leaves on wire, they don't stay where you want them to. Okay, there we go. So, here he is. He's got his little armies in there. Oops, that should go the other way. Eek. Go the other way. All right, so then once his nose and his buttons are baked, we'll put them on. And he'll pretty much be done. I have to make the tag. I don't know if I have any tags available. If I put the tag on him. And then maybe if I have a piece of red fabric, I can make a patch. I don't like this as the patch. It just looks weird. So I just if I can find a little piece of red fabric, I'll use that as the patch. Wait, just... Bend that a little, make it look a little bit more wrinkled. I can 
face them up front a little bit more. See, I can bend them because they're the wires with the latex. The chat stop. Did I put everybody to sleep, Martha? I think I put everybody to sleep. <laughs> I often wonder that on my show, too. That's okay. Nobody has questions, so that's a good thing. And I'm going to put a fishing, fishing line through here and then come back out so he can either be an ornament on a tree or he can also stand. He's standing. And how you do that if you're needle felting is you make this. Oh, Sandra, your phone fell. I'm sorry. Hope you didn't crack it. You just... um. To make something stand in needle felting, if it's not that heavy, is you just felt the bottom really firmly and and flat, and that'll help it stand. Look at all those tips I've been given, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm even saying. All right. Tips are good. So, good. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Martha? Tips are good. Tips are good. Tips. We're giving tips. Yep. Oh, it knocked you off. Sandra, I'm sorry. Okay. I got to have something to drink. So now this has got to wait. Let's see what we can do with this. Bring back up before I drop all that stuff all over. Uh, oops. Oops. Scissors. Okay, now wings on the hair. I think I have to put the wire on the wings. Martha, are you with me? We lost Martha. I don't think I can just glue them here. I'm not sure. I think if I put them on wire, they'll come out better. If I put them down like that. Hold on, let me get the other big guy. Yeah, I think I could do it just like that. Where'd you go? My baby kitty kitty. You what? I said my baby oh, kitty kitty. Ah, she wants to get a drink. She heard me go in the front room, so she had to get out of her tent. She's an Eskimo in disguise. Okay, let me try something. I think maybe I can use this. I'll say thank you, Shirley. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. I don't know if crazy glue will work, mm. but we'll see. Root beer and peanut butter fudge really don't quite go together. Ugh. It's a little sweet there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's not stick our fingers to anything. Just hold it down. He almost finished coloring that stuff in. Oh, yeah. Almost. Ooh, that, worked. that worked. Look at that. Amazing but true. Okay. Poor angel. Okay. So now I think. Okay, we're gonna do this. First we gotta glue these on together. 
I'm going to be a little too pink. Maybe just a wee bit too pink. Uh oh, look. No, we don't want pink glitter, do we? What's this one? Hot pink. I guess all the pinks are kind of hot. Are they? Too hot to trap now, baby. What's this color? Let's see what this one does. Yeah, pink, pink, pink. How about it? More like my style right there. Okay, I'll try that one. Ooh, what's that one? Scissors. Quite pink. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Barbara. I was just playing. Not everybody's got a writing chat. I'm not talking much either. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait. I rounded that one more? Okay. And on the bottom too, right? Did I? What the heck did I do? Okay, I rounded it. I took some off. That looks pretty much the same. Let's go back here. Let's add some more. Let's glow. With this, you have to make sure the gel. We talked about it before. You have to um, shake it up. Otherwise, it does come out either too liquidy, like they were saying, or I don't remember what channel was that I was watching where they were saying they were having problems with the suit. I don't know. What were you watching? I don't know. Weren't you there? <laughs> ah. Don't know. And now I'm sticking. Gosh, I hate so much. I think I don't have any fingerprints left from super glue. The problem, no, I don't want to say it to Rob Banks because then I'll get the FT as somebody on me. Okay. Like I'm done coloring. Let's see. What, you want me to go on you? I know how to go on you. I think I know how to go on you. I solo layout. Hover Thank over my box. No. Oh, how cute. Aw. Look at that little snowman. He's so happy. And the reindeers. Now that I did that, I lost the chat again. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Every time you click on something, you're going to lose the chat. Every time. Every single time. Okay. Yeah, every time. Chad is in the way. We need to pull hair from both sides. Come on over. All right. Now, how to get the chat easily. I know there's an easy way to get it. There we go. I'm getting it. It's an easy way to pick it up. I found that. Just Down click on the on bottom, it. right, or wherever I go. Uh -huh. Just click on it, and it comes right back up. Yep. Okay, now we got to pull these little buggers out. So here's the tree. Now we gotta go find a halo for this little angel. Let's 
Alright. Uh, halo, halo, halo. Where's the halo? Not finding the halo. And we got. Oh, here they are. Is it gold? Santa hat one. Hopefully we can get all these cut out at the same time. I guess I could have spaced them a little farther apart. Oh, Victoria dozed. You know, okay, Victoria. Everybody's falling asleep on me. This one, I think, is the... Which one is that one? Oh, Cold meds. You got cold meds? Thank goodness. From a doctor or just over the counter? I like that one. I like the bigger one. Oh, it's okay, Vic. I'm only playing. I really am. It's fine. Okay. Oh, she got over. Oh. She jumped the counter. She got over the counter cold meds. I don't have the one that's jumping. It's got to be this one. It's got to be this one. So I think I'm gonna try the fabric tack and see if it works. If not, then I'll put the could be uh crazy glue. It's not that one. Well, be darn. I wouldn't think it was that one, but it's that one. It is a Monday anyway. Usually people are tired. I woke up this morning it's like, what day is it? Oh my it God. It is Monday, right? Yes, it's Monday. I kept okay. thinking it was Sunday. I don't know what I was thinking when I got up this morning, but whatever it was, it wasn't right. Okay, let's put, where do you go? You go over here. All right, let me get all these cut out. Halo. Got that done. Let's see how much more time we got. Oops, we got six more minutes. Oh, oh yeah, in the minutes. Okay. And I'll just sit here and watch her for six more minutes. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to find things. What am I looking for now? Ah, what am I looking oh. for? Ah, found that. Okay. Don't you and just hate when them cold meds knock you out? I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little knockout to get some good sleep, but when you don't want to sleep in the afternoon, you take that darn medicine. It's like, Ugh. Getting out a doll's needle. Those are the long, well, I call them doll needles, the long needles. A little fishing line. These things pop. Yeah, I know. I keep getting up and going. Sorry. Let's see. This is where my computer is. My crafting supplies are over at my craft desk. And I couldn't take all of these over because every time I turn around, they need something else. Uh, oh, I took some of my gold paint off, but it's still there, so that's okay. What is this needle coming out of? Go down there? All right, that might be a good idea. Give me more.
Come on, buddy. Let's go. Ah. All right. Okay. No, actually, I want to take and cut him. Oh, gosh. I want to cut him out some more. Is that it? No, that ain't him. Okay. That's him. Okay. Center. I want to cut him out once or twice more. Maybe one more time. how to talk to him, had a sneezing fit. I really hope you're going to get better, Victoria. Really beginning to worry about that. I hate sneezing fits. And usually when I sneeze like that, it's like, oh, you have to blow your nose. It's telling you you've got to blow your nose. Okay, we are going to glue him together. I can find my glue bottle. I told you I have to get a new roof, right? You do? Yeah. Having a leak. My roof is about 25 years old. 20 to 25, and I have a leak, and they want to charge me $450 to fix the leak, and they're not going to guarantee it. So it's, but I mean, I'm going to have to get a new roof anyway. And I figured if I'm going to stay here for, at tops, hopefully only five tops, only five more years, then it would be a good investment because it'll also, like, especially what? if you get like the metal roofing, it'll, if you go to sell, you'll get better money too. Yeah. There we go. We got the hanger on it. Cause if it ain't good and you go to sell the house, I'll make you refix it anyway. Yeah, I know. So it's just like a new roof would be a nice selling point. So, yeah. So I'm getting estimates for that. First person came in. The first person I had came in, told me $9,500 to $11,000. I nearly passed out. I'm like, you know, because I haven't had a roof done in 25 years. So I, 20, I didn't know how much they went up. I was like, oh, you no, better, I, you better do some research on that. No, I, I had, I had another estimate, and then I'm getting a, the, the next estimate was six thousand three hundred, and that sounds a little bit more up your alley. Yeah, and so I'm getting one, one or two more. I think just one more. So. Which what which, which wait which one is the fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Okay. What's this one? Thank you go here. Yeah, we're aware. Thank you, Shirley. Sons was a thou oh, ten ten thousand. Yeah, when he told me eleven thousand dollars, I nearly passed that. I was like, really? No, I I, I we got to get more estimates. My house is not that big. That I need to have an eleven thousand dollar roof. Right. I, I can understand if I lived in a mansion, but come on, buddy. Come on. All right, let's put the Santa one away. They certainly are pretty ridiculous. I mean, seriously. Oops, this came out. Oh, go away. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the sticker. See if I can go back up there where oh, I can. Whatever. Uh oh. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, it's not close. 
That's better. There we go. We got jingle all the way. Hmm. Which one shall I do? Oh, he had metal put on it. I'm. Not, I'm just gonna use the um, architectural shingles. I'm not going for metal. I'm not staying here. So the least amount of money I can pay for this thing, the better off I'll be. Well, girls, girls are calling and they talk. Okay. I'm going to go soon anyway. Good night, Barbara. I'm going to go. Oh, it's 9.02. Martha, we're past our bedtime. <laughs> okay. I'm. Oh, here you are. I'm going to go, and I'm just going to finish tying this, and then I'm going to pretty much talk for a few minutes or whatever, and then go. Okay. Now, I don't know what happened to my Christmas stamp. Oh, boy. Yeah, I uh, working on this secret project yesterday. I put tape on a piece of paper, and it disappeared. That piece of paper I put tape on disappeared. Really? I looked at every little nook and cranny around here, you know, thinking, oh, it went off on my arm, blah blah blah. I have looked everywhere. I can't find it. Now my little tree stamp just disappeared. Oh no. Oh, Shirley says Martha meds. Could you take your meds before we go oh. so we're feeling better about that? Huh? She said meds. You gotta take your meds. You didn't take them before. Yeah, I'll take them. I take them. Another little thing, when you're finished needle felting and you have, like, a lot of fiber that you don't want or anything that's just sticking out, just take your scissors and just cut them off. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to get my cell phone. I'm going. I'll be right back. Thank goodness you're here, Martha, because I've been off more than I've been on. Hold on. In more ways than one, honey. A little off on everything. I think this snowman is so darn freaking cute. I'm going to say snow lady, though. I should have do some little eyelashes on her and get her all stuck down there. Okay. Uh, all right, her hat's on. Okay. We got all our right. three our little guys. We got this one, but I don't know where the tree sticker is. I'll look on the floor just in case. I don't see it. Oh no, lost my tree. Okay, so I'm going to bring back this little thing. And oops, I want to, that's how it's going to go. I want to stamp this on the front, jingle all the way. That's cute. So I need my black. I need my smelly stays on. Or should we do a blue? Ooh. Maybe a Good night, blue. Night. Who's leaving? Good night, anybody who's leaving. We're going to stay for just a little bit. Good night, yeah. Bo, I think is what they said. Ah. Uh. I'm just going to put a little bit of color and then I'm going to. Martha Meds. Later, know. ladies. Or Shirley. Night Shirley's leaving. Yeah, because I said I was leaving, but I'm just doing a f just one or two more things and then. Okay. Oh, everybody's going. All right. You know what? Everybody's saying goodnight to everybody. Maybe no, because they're thinking that you're leaving. 
Well, I was leaving in a second. I just wanted to do this. I'm confused. Don't confuse I'm me. Put this dark blue right here. Hopefully, I got some enough ink for it. So, how do you know when your 20 hours is up? Do they write you a little note? Well, when you stop your live, it'll tell you how many hours you got. Oh, okay. I got to do last that. time, last time it was a you that went live, I think it was. I got a whole bunch of stuff saying this, this, that, and that. And On yours? Yeah. And it says you have four hours and 32 minutes remaining. It's like, well, thanks for the info of that it was starting. No. I mean no it's my, it's when it started. they're not charging you for this are you no not with you no it's your oh. your show yeah okay if you go over your 20 hours you'll just be cut right off so oh. at some time if june does not know how long she's been on she'll just go bye bye Bye. I don't think it's my computer. Okay. Not a problem. I know I'm not up to 20 hours. I know I'm not close. I don't even think I'm up to 10. Right. Just getting I mean, all the good nights out of the way. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, ladies. I said I was going, and then I decided. Cause, but Once in a while, it's nice to break the rules. House rules, that is. Okay. Yeah, that is all right. I added just a little pink and a little gold to the wings because I thought that would be pretty. Oh, I need another piece of paper. I'm using liquid pearls. They're not really man meant to paint with because they're very streaky. But if you just want a little accent color here or there, why not use them? Too oh, dark. Come on. Are you really going to give me a hard time? You don't. Okay. That's it. Just a yeah. So, what is this? This is embossing pad. So, this must be embossing. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, here we go. It's dropsy time. Right. Drops. Okay. Don't want no. So drops. now I gotta, I gotta do it twice, right? I gotta do the whatever I gotta do. I gotta hit that right button up, the button in the upper right hand corner, and then I gotta hit the leave studio in the bottom corner, right? Right. Okay. All right, so we, I think we're done with this. I might add a few more. Like again, yeah, like I said, I always have to let things sit. I'm thinking I got to add something, a little something here, or a little pink there. I don't know what I'm going to do there, but basically, this little angel is done. Jean, I know I, I'm still going to send you this. I haven't sent you. This was the little prototype one. I'm going to send that to you soon. I just didn't get to do that. I'm trying to get. It one more big mailing before the holiday. So I'm just trying to get all of this done so I can send it all at one time. Why isn't this coming out? Oh. All right, ladies. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk, which is a blessing to some people, namely my kids, after tomorrow. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Fine. Who's who's taking you? My son. My Good. son. You're gonna need a driver on the way home. Yeah, they wouldn't let me Uber. He told me I'm not allowed to Uber. Yep. So, which is fine because I don't really feel like I don't think I'm gonna be feeling. Uh, then of course it comes out in the splat. I don't think I'm gonna feel like you know. I don't want to try to figure out where I'm going, making sure they're going in the right direction and all of that stuff. So. Right. Having my son there will be good. He'd take care of his mama. Yeah. I hope. Okay, guys. I'm going to go. Martha, I'm going to go now. Um, All right. I might just go ahead and do a live 
and okay. finish this card up. I might have to cut another one. I don't know because I think I just screwed that up. Okay. Okay, but I'll think about it. I could go live for a little bit since we're all here. So all right. if I keep it down to about an hour and a half, I'll be good. And then we can do another live another day. Okay, that sounds good. Once I get a few things done, I might come into chat to just watch, okay? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Hoback says, hope you're okay. Make sure your son videos you after anesthesia. <laughs> yes, yes, I love them videos. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not doing that. He's going to be busy texting people. That's what he's going to be doing. Okay, so good night, ladies. Thanks, for everybody, for coming in and hanging out with us for a little while. Um, Walter will see you, and I'll see you when I see you. Okay? okay. Bye. Good night. Have a good day. Night. Good night. I got to figure out how to close this now. Okay, here we go. Bye-bye. I did it. Got it.